Welcome and thank you for stopping by our virtual demonstration. At Abbott, we help you achieve measurably better healthcare performance with totally integrated and innovative solutions. Today, we're excited to show you one of these solutions, the Alinity H series, our newest hematology system. I am Christy Thiessen and would like to walk you through the design of the system. As part of the Alinity family of instruments from Abbott, this multi-modular, fully automated hematology system is scalable to fit the needs of a wide variety of laboratories, from community hospitals to medical centers to the largest reference labs. Alinity HQ is designed to be a standalone analyzer and may be integrated with another Alinity HQ and an Alinity HS, the slide maker stainer, or both, depending on the needs of the laboratory. Let's take a look. Shown here is the most common configuration, which is composed of three modules, two Alinity HQ analyzers with the Alinity HS in the middle. This configuration, as well as a single Alinity HQ analyzer, was designed to be connected to Abbott's Accelerator A3600 laboratory automation system. The Alinity H series is also designed to integrate with Abbott's middleware solutions to enhance a personalized solution for any laboratory. Now let's take a closer look at the Alinity H series. The System Control Center, referred to as the SCC, is a consolidated workstation that communicates to all modules in an Alinity H series configuration. The single touchscreen monitor displays such information as patient results, quality control, and moving averages data. In addition, programmable and customizable automated functions allow the laboratory to continuously operate without interruptions. For instance, automated daily maintenance procedures on both the Alinity HQ and the Alinity HS are designed to be scheduled during hours when the systems are not in use or periods of reduced workload. In other words, be performed automatically when it is best for your laboratory. Let's see what a customer has to say about this. The Alinity HQ is designed to require only three reagents to generate a CBC plus diff result, which includes a reportable IG. Alinity HQ reagents are loaded in duplicate and can be replaced without any interruption to sample processing, freeing up staff for other critical activities. Again, let's see what another customer has to say about this. In addition to the SCC, a local user interface, referred to as the LUI, is on the front cover of each module. It is like a small tablet with a touchscreen that allows the user to interact with each module individually. With the built-in barcode reader, the LUI is used when changing reagents and running open tube samples. Below the LUI is the sample loading area on each module. The Alinity HQ module has 12 lanes, designed with a total load up capacity of 120 samples per module, while the Alinity HS module is designed with eight lanes. Intuitive lane indicator lights show the status and availability of each lane. A retractable shelf provides a workspace for the user without increasing the analyzer's footprint. This is useful when loading samples or running open tube samples. How convenient. Once inside the system, a robotic gripper moves samples and racks freely through the system. A digital camera confirms the number of capped tubes present. Then the gripper picks up a tube and spins it 360 degrees to read the barcode. Next, tubes are moved through the inversion mixing process. Afterwards, the sample is aspirated using a bottom sensing mechanism designed to aspirate approximately 100 microliters for both opened and closed tube sampling. 
The design of a short sample detection mechanism helps identify samples that do not have enough specimen to analyze or that may be clotted. The specimen is then dispensed into one of two sets of incubation cups for dilution and mixing. This design maximizes specimen processing to support a throughput of up to 119 CBCs plus diff per hour by each Alinity HQ. As you can see, the robotic arm can place racks onto the built-in bi-directional conveyor to transport samples between connected modules, for instance, when a slide needs to be made by the Alinity HS. In addition, the bi-directional conveyor is designed to enable samples to be transferred between the accelerator A3600 via the interface module. Even when the system is connected to the accelerator A3600, samples can still be loaded at the front of the system. The design to prioritize stat specimens ahead of routine specimens is very simple. One would simply load a rack with stat tubes and insert the rack into a designated stat lane. This rack will then be processed next. It's that easy. Two sample racks were designed for open tube processing to hold sample tubes of various sizes. To process open tube samples, one would simply select the open tube icon on the LUI, identify the sample using the barcode reader located below the LUI, confirm the tube is well mixed, place the tube into the appropriate open tube rack then insert the open tube rack into any available lane. This rack will be processed next because the system will know it was manually mixed. Keep in mind that the system is designed to tell the robotic arm to move the rack to the sampling area so the sample can be aspirated. After aspiration, the open tube rack is ejected in an open lane in the loading area, allowing the user to remove the rack containing the sample. The system will automatically return to routine sample processing. The Alinity HQ was designed to only require three reagents for the CBC analysis. These are loaded in duplicate in the front reagent drawers. An optional fourth reagent is available for reticulocyte analysis along with an onboard cleaner loaded for convenience. An empty container will trigger the transition to the other container automatically. This allows the user a large window of time to replace the empty container at his or her convenience without interruption of sample processing. All the bottles are color coded for easy identification. Each are designed with a lock and key configuration built into its cap to prevent the user from placing any bottle into the wrong position. The Alinity HS slide maker stainer is designed to connect directly to the Alinity HQ module. In addition, the robotics, mixing, and aspiration within the slide maker stainer module are nearly identical to those in the Alinity HQ analyzer. The robotic gripper not only moves sample tubes and racks, but also slide carriers throughout the staining process. A unique design of the smear blade cartridge provides a new clean smear blade when making every slide. This design is to prevent sample carryover on the smear blade. The smear blade can also adjust for samples with varying hematocrit levels for consistent smearing. The staining reagents are delivered through a fluidic system that drains and fills baths based on the daily workload and designed to automatically adjust the reagent depth in the bath based on the number of slides in the, a slide carrier. Both May Grunwald Gimsa and Wright Gimsa stains have multiple pre-configured staining protocols already designed into the software with the option for additional customized stain protocols as well. Most laboratories are challenged for space, so the footprint of a hematology system is very important. As you can see, the dimensions of the Alinity HQ and the Alinity HS modules were designed to be quite compact. In closing, designed with a throughput of up to 119 CBCs plus diff per hour per instrument, an integrated bi-directional conveyor 
creating built-in automation and the capability to connect to the Accelerator A3600, the Abbott Hematology System is designed to offer the efficiency of big automation in a very small footprint. Now it's time for some frequently asked questions. What are the reportable parameters on the Alenity HQ? The Alenity HQ is designed to report 29 parameters in a CBC plus diff plus retic analysis. The WBC differential includes neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils, lymphocytes, monocytes, and immature granulocytes. The retic analysis includes five additional parameters, percent reticulocytes, the numerical retic count, the immature reticulocyte fraction, the MCHR, and the percent reticulated platelets. How many slides can the Alinity HS, the slide maker stainer module, make in an hour? The designed throughput of the Alinity HS will vary based on the staining protocol selected. For example, if using the default Meg Grunwald GIMSA protocol, the Alinity HS is designed to smear and stain up to 65 slides per hour. What are the dimensions of the modules? A graphic shown illustrates the dimensions of both the Alinity HQ and the Alinity HS modules design. Our last question is, what configuration can be attached to the track? Currently, the two configurations designed to be available is the standalone Alinity HQ system or the configuration shown here, which has two Alinity HQ modules with one Alinity HS module.